What's going on? It's not welcome along to the stream. Hope you are well. It is uh, Monday, the 3rd of July. I am very well, Slacker. Like how are you, buddy? And um, yeah, it's time to get back into Black Plague. Hey, Aaron. What's going on, buddy? Sorry, share my phone. Uh, so yeah, we are um, going to pick things up where we finished off last time, because, you know, that's always a good place to start. I'm, it's going well, thank you, Aaron. Going very well, thank you. Thank you very much for doing those alterations on the portal stuff as well. Appreciate it. All right, so last off, we... This is residential. The archaic asks that viral biologists do not take their work home with them. Okay. Map is done. You've done a map? You don't know the map? <laughs> cool. Um, right, so last time we uh, found that bloke, didn't we? That bloke, and then we... He was going to chop his hand off, even though we already got the hand. And we had to build the network computer thingy. And then we got the code. And the code was for the cafeteria, I think. That sounds about right. Just give me two seconds. I'm going to see if I can actually make this a little bit dark as they get a lot of reflection off the screen. So give me two seconds, guys. I'll be right back. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Treasure Ghost. Welcome along to the stream. Right, I've kind of dumped it down a bit. Man, that makes me look bright. It makes me look like I have a light, even though I've dumbed down the light in front of me. Weird. All right, but I can see the screen a little bit better. All right, so yeah, um, we... Remember the challenge? What? <laughs> All right. So, let's continue, shall we? So I think, yeah, like I said, I think we're going to the cafeteria. Um, I think. Uh, did I not write it down? Uh, ah, there we go. I didn't write it down. All right, so I best go back. So I don't appear to have a record of what the passcode is. Which is quite annoying. Oh no, I unlocked it. That was right, that's why. I just unlocked it from here. That's why I don't have a record of it. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so. So we're going to. Let's go to. Oh, is it the infirmary? Infirmary, I need. That's what I need. Infirmary. I find these signs quite. Oh, 
All right. Nothing like making a load of noise. Still got like loads of reflection. It's not really helping that much. Not really helping that much. Okay. That sounds like a phone's ringing. It's a toilet. Got no water. All right then. Love these things. Sorry, I realise that I'm like concentrating quite a lot. I'm not really saying much, so I do apologise for that. Oh, we'll go here. Cryostasis issues. Cryostasis is state-of-the-art insulation allowing cryogenic freezing of civilian injured personnel who may resurrect, who resuscitate, resuscitated, resuscitated at a late date. During freezing, users may or may not experience mild hallucinations to be confirmed when first used successfully revived from stasis. Does that mean they've tried to revive people before and they've died? Fair usage policy. What oh, The final scenario is considered the acceptable cause for the use of the cryostasis facility. Any overseer or elevated cast member is critically ill or injured. Any lower cast member or the archaic holding vital information is critically ill or injured. Any patients infected with a non terra virus or bacteria, provided they have first been deemed non contagious. Any person infected with the following incurable ailments should end stasis for later medical research. Cardiomyopathy, glaucoma, polio, diabetes, and halitosis. Uh, I don't, Aaron. No, I don't. Any elevated cast member deemed clinically dead should end stasis for ceremonial purposes. Maintenance period for deceased users to be increased pending research benefits at Greenland site, marking making revival a potential solution. Access. <sighs> Access is strictly forbidden to all non-medical personnel. At this time, the archaic is unable to staff the facility 24 hours. As a result, heart rate sensitive wristbands have been issued to high priority high risk personnel. Keep these wristbands with you at all times. They allow automated access to the facility in the event that the wearer's heart rate indicates high probability of approaching death. Postscript, lower caste personnel are entitled to an opt-in opt-out scheme whereby they may choose to sign a consent form where in the event of critical injury, they will be entitled to at least partial cryostasis. How, how can you be, how can you partially, how can you be, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know, it's just me. Anyway. Yeah, that looks a little weird. That looks very weird. Incoming video chats. Christ, you look worse than the last time I saw you. Jeez, Maybe thanks. You're just at a higher resolution. Oh, damn it. Note to self, never insult your last hope of survival. I just wanted to give you a word of advice. Those creepy artifacts, we don't know how they work. Or even what they do, I suppose. We, well, I saw someone get too close to one once. You probably don't want to know. I'm sure you'll be fine. Probably. I hope. I'm sure you'll be fine. By the way, if you happen to find yourself in my neck of the woods, I'm kind of trapped. It's no big deal, really. Just throwing it out there. Oh, no. That's hardly true. They're really completely harmless. Go on. It's just like wrapping yourself up in a warm blanket. So where is she, though? She said if you're ever around my neck of the woods, then come, you know, I'm trapped down here, but... Where is she? Might might help. I right, can't open patient report. Chemical tests. Standard series chemical tests. Subject primate, chimpanzee. Chemical, temazepam. Result, as expected, the subject displays symptoms of relaxation and 
Lethargy. Lethargy? Le uh, chemical. Lysergic acid. Diet. Blah, blah, blah. I'm no scientist. Result much akin to previous work with felines. The chimpanzee shows no ability to cope with the chemical stimulant. This case, somnus. Result, following injection, the subject's heart rate slows to a, such a rate that, for all intents and purposes, it appears dead. In truth, heart rate has dropped to an incredibly, to incredibly a safe level and suggests the subject recovers soon after. Tetricanabione only. Uh, this chemical is held to be entirely safe in moderation and produces a relaxation effect in the, sub in the subject. It remains to be seen whether long-term exposure leads to mental health risk. The primate is worn out. Please consider this an official requisition order to further test subjects from the mainland. Okay. It's an old artifact. I wonder if I can, like, smash... I can swing it, but I can't pick it up. Your mind space is muddled as a line. See here, A is for alliteration. B is for bohemian. C is for carcin carcinogen carcinogen carcinogenic. So many long words taking up space in my new home. Here, let me do a little spring. There. You didn't need the periodic table, did you? <laughs> All right, well, we got Uh, okay, can we then do this? Critically ill. <laughs> Subject is critically ill. I've just done a note just in case. Uh, so where is the note? Oh. So, okay, we can't go... Alright, so that's the Christ. So we, we can't go that way anyway at the minute. So, I think we're pretty much done here. For now. So like a hidden thing. Yeah, collectibles. Found a collectible. All right. So, um, where else do we need to go? I'm. I don't know. Right, let's go back out here. Let's try and find a map. Try and remember where we have been and where we haven't been. I guess. So, where are we? We're at one. Residential. We've been in residential area three. We've been in computer central, right? Been in storage. Emergency airlock to the machine room. Been through there, been to the machine room. Five is storage. Yeah, we've 
been to storage. So, I don't know, I guess the only other place to go is... Have we been in residential area 3? That's not residential area three, is that's canteen. This is What? The map is totally wrong. That's where we came from originally. Um, I'm not sure where else I can go, or where I'm meant to go. R109 is the armory. R104 is the changing room. We've been to storage. We've been to the airlock. We've been to the machine room. We've been to the infirmary. We haven't been in the canteen. We've been in the computer. So, I'm a little confused. We need to find a, something for the... So we need to find, like, a dead body? I guess. Alright, so what did it say then? So we've put the wristband on. Um, so do I need to either like elevate, do I need to elevate my heart rate? Oh no, I need some drugs. Um, right, okay. So, I need some. Hold on. Uh, let's read these chemical tests again. I need some of this. This case, Somnus. Because it slows it down. That's what I need. Right, so where am I going to find some of that? Here. So how do I take it? Hold on, do I do... That. Uh, 
Um, there we go. For a moment there, I really thought that might have been curtains. All right, so I'm guessing this is one of the people who Oh my goodness. <laughs> Am I really carrying this around with me? Holy crap. All right, so yeah, like I said, I guess that's going to be one of the um, non-important people who opted in, um, because as the note said, um, it said something about they would only like free certain parts, right? Okay. Um, How peculiar. I could have sworn we remembered there being a door here before. How queer. What's in that direction? Oh, silly old me. I haven't got any hands to point with, have I? No, not that way. You sure you know where we're going? Didn't we pass the door just back there? What? You see? You silly Billy. It was here all along. Would you like Uncle Clarence to take the steering wheel for a while? Nope. <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> this is actually gonna be fun. Perhaps I won't get you killed after all. Hey! We finally made it through the door. Alright, so, I picked up some baggage on the way, literally, but finally I was close to my goal. I was sure answers lay behind that door. They were answers I should have set out to find when I received my father's letter in, tw in year 2000. Why did I wait a whole year to come here? Hmm. For anyone who's played this game and knows anything about the game, how far are we actually into the game? Quite um, intrigued. Physics and maths. Hey, I can read this. Guess your old buddy Clarence comes through for you again, the monkey. Do you want to know what it says? Please. Do you? Do you? Please. I bet you do. I say, can you feel a draft? Pencil? You don't pick the hint, do you? Why don't you set that investigative brain of yours to on for a change? How about a good read? Detective novels. What? Uh, where is that bit of paper? There is no bit of paper that I can read. That's why I'm confused. Mr. Shaw confused. Up in here, 
You sure don't recognize a classic mechanic when you see one. What? Hey, Deathwish. What's going on, buddy? Hope you had a good vacation. Welcome back to us. Um, am I just literally opening the door here? Is that all I gotta do? Can I push bookcases? Hmm. I'm looking for a book in the cases, am I? There's a fake book in the bloody bookcase, papery tied up with string words in the middle. Do you even want to get out of here? Well, he sounded so British when he said that. There's a bloody book in the bloody bookcase. <laughs> Okay, let's turn off the flashlight a minute, hold on. Alright, let's read that now. I'll turn my flashlight off. Since leaving the last bastion of humanity in this place behind, it has become clear that my faith was well placed, my, con my conclusions were correct, and it is only that which I have has brought me this far. It's taken me some time to make my way through the infected area of the shelter, and with the observations I have made, my prior discovery seems all the more obvious and vital. The infected humans communicate with one another. Similar, if simple, simpler communication is observed in infected creatures of all species. At times, the infected seem to coordinate without clear line of sight, telepathy. Excuse me. Despite a catonic appearance, the infected are quiet capable of high level brain functions. Their problem solving abilities at times seem to far outstrip those of a healthy human being. When separated, the creatures lose their this intelligence, indicating some form of communal or central intelligence. Okay. Uh, the intelligence displayed is of such a level that we can only assume the communal mind is also rational. It is this conclusion that has formed the backbones of recent endeavours, though the infected may wander around like mind like mindless, for want of a better word, zombies, they are no stu no more stupid than a better a worker bee. Autonomous, yes, but far more but far from stupid. Sorry, my reading's terrible. In short, I believe this central intelligence might somehow be communicated with bargained with. Communication, however, is most likely impossible once infected, unless there was a, w a way to subdue the infection for long enough to contact the hive. There must be a way to find peace. Today, I communed with the blah, blah, blah mind. I was correct. It's intelligent beyond our wildest imagination. It told me everything. Everything I needed to know. You could not imagine it. I could not. I cannot accept it. God forgive us. All right. Left us anything good in the uh, drawers here, Daddy? Some batteries. Turn on the power. Maybe that opened like the door or something. I jotted down a note just in case. I barely even thought about my father's death. I guess I wasn't expecting to find him any other way. I was determined to complete his work, find an answer to the infection, and then contact the hive. Alright, what did we jot down? Anything? I don't know. Nothing. Wait a second. Water barrels!
Yeah, so how far am I actually into the game? I don't really know. Right, well. Doesn't seem like I can go that way. Was it too much effort for you, Deathwish, to like, um... Well, there's a switch there. Was it too much effort for you just to keep, like, putting new batteries in? Alright, so... Alright, so how can I do this? That's going to be too heavy to move. Can't do that. Can I do something with this, maybe? Alright, so maybe I can stack these up. Maybe over here. This one on top. No, I said put it on top. Thank you. Let's go raving. Excellent. They look very similar to a certain water container that we've seen elsewhere. But I don't really want to mention the name. Alright, so how are we going to get... Ah, let me do that. Okay. Holy hell! Um, I, I mean, uh, good! Yeah, uh, more monkeys for the incinerator. Shut up! <laughs> Let's just ignore him. Rip. Oh, we're still good. Maybe I can... Ow. Oh. I think I need to get on that bit there, possibly. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Before I do that, let me get that. Now that I've finally discovered that we have death. I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. There we go. Painkillers for the win. Um, yeah, now that I've finally discovered that there are collectibles in the game. So late in the game. They do, nobody knows. I guess they are just collectibles like the bowl heads and things in other games. Bubble heads. Alright. To here. Jump across to here. It 
really is quite amazing. You monkeys and your problem solving. How do you manage it with such small, singular brains? Isn't it terribly quiet not hearing the thoughts of every one of your brothers? Oh, somebody, that woman's trying to get hold of me again. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's see what she's got to tell us this time. You came! I guess I didn't really expect you to bother. My lab partner's such a pessimist. Was such a pessimist. But it kind of rubbed off on me. He tried to make it through to me not too long ago. I guess he's a bit late for the party. I guess that's who's You'll have just to make died that right there. Tour over the surface next. But be careful. If the cold doesn't kill you, well... Let's just say I didn't pick the safest of locales for my last ditch survival attempt. Okay, good news. Um, good news, good news. Oh yeah, I think I've got a cure. Well, it's not really what you'd call a cure cure, but it should be enough to help you. I don't think I'm infected. I was careful, but I guess if you come rescue me and I'm looking at you like you're a roast chicken, I got it wrong. Sorry, that probably wasn't funny, was it? No. I suppose not. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yeah, yeah, cures, rescue, saving the world, all so cliché, all so ridiculous. Do you really think you're doing the right thing? Your morality is just the last in stain left behind by religion. Her voice sounds so familiar. I'm sure I've heard that before. Can't think where though. Have a box. All right, so we're gonna go out in the blizzard. A cure. I had my doubts by then, but I didn't have much choice. I resolved to find Annabelle. Amabel, sorry, and put things right. I could do this. Um, how did I do it before? I'm sure I, when I did this before. What? How is my flare outside? That makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. Obviously, I can't um, light this one then, I guess. Hmm. These flares are really annoying. Don't know why I want that. I'm trying to find my sprint key. And I'm about to die. Uh, and I guess to go back, I've got to go across here. Alright, so... That's frozen, right? There's another place over there. I 
Well, we learn something new every day. Can I combine anything? Yeah, there's flammable stuff in the barrel, so what? Why isn't... I'm sure I lit a fire with the flare before. Earlier on in the game. Um... I need to thaw this out, but I just don't know how... or what I can use... to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna die, I know I'm gonna die. I'd rather die and get all my stuff back than um, carry on and lose a load of stuff. All right, so if I were you, which arguably I am, I'd be asking myself an oh. sort of voice. Wow. Did that bridge really collapse, or is my good friend Clarence just playing an hilarious joke? The answer, monkey man. Is that I don't even know myself. Alright, so I've had another thought about this. Get us Is... Can I create, like, some sort of... Can I set all this on fire? We have flame-proof boxes. It's always good. It's my own fault. I should have looked at that light that before, I guess. Alright, so... If we have this... Let's go... Back and light the fire on this side, I guess. It's going to help. Um... Okay. So I can use this. What can I use? What can I use? The light is not going to do anything, is it? Let's be honest. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Nope. Flamethrower! And this is probably where something's actually going to, like, chase me. Give you a memory of him a good 
So, we have a cloth. Can we get a... I'm thinking we might need like a plank or something to wrap the cloth in. To make like a torch, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. So... Can I... Oh, hold on. What if I did... Right, alcohol. Then that. And then... Another barrel would be a waste. It needs to be close to the door. All right. Let's um, let's go back in our little shack over here a moment. And use some painkillers again. All right. Can we do it now? I wonder. Let's try. Uh, run. This way, please. Huzzah! We made it out of the blizzard. We made it out of the blizzard. Huzzah! Okay, what's next? So, on the to-do list, find this damsel in distress, kill the bad guys, cure infection, save the world. Chances of success? Nil. Chances of survival? Well, you've got old Clarence on board. That should speak for itself. Chances of you buggering things up royally? Buggering things up. Certain. Okay. So, where are we going to find... Oh dear. Did you ever get the feeling there's going to be dogs? Right, so where are we at the moment? We must be... Just coming in the south exit, I guess? Do we, do we know where she is, even? Did she tell us where she was? I can't remember. You know, you turning up here is probably the second best thing to happen to me since I've been down here. I'm reserving first place for when we get out. So, I'm not big-headed enough to think you came all the way here just to rescue me. I wasn't lying, though. I think I've worked out how to disinfect you. But, you probably saw this coming. It's not quite as simple as all that. I had to engage the failsafe on the research rooms to seal myself in here. And that means... We need a key card to get me out. Of course. One of the personnel, one of the infected ones, tried to get in with a card, but I don't know where he, or where it went. Look, I, I need you, and, well, if you do get me out, I'll give you the biggest hug of your life. Oh, thanks. Christ! Go here, go there, fetch this, rub me a bath. Typical broad. 
atypical circumstances. You think fate has anything to do with this? Fate is merely the war cry of those too scared to think for themselves. All right. Should we go to exam room? So let's have a look in here. Alright. Get some of those anti death wish batteries. Nitrogen. Okay. What might we need those? Room is familiar to you. All right, so guessing we might need to do some power or something. Wait, are you, are you busy doing your, your grass or something there, Death, uh, Treasure Ghost? Which room should we go? The vent looks like I might be able to use it. Locked from the other side. So, guessing I need to use or try and open the vent. Bit of a funny texture on there. Oh. Don't know, does nitrogen do anything? Obviously not. Iodine and nitrogen. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Uh, 
Maybe I can't do anything just here right now, so I don't know. Sorry, guys. Oh, hello. I think I found a secret passage. Idea. Follow the blood. Fantastic idea. So I'm concerned that there's going to be dogs. This is just like corroded or something. You know, all these drugs, there's bound to be a big old needle at the end of this. That'd be enough to put any man off. No shame in that. You don't want to catch anything. One virus is enough for anybody. Right, maybe I can't, um, I can't tip these over. So. Um, this mirror is that bag moving? Fuck me. We're done. We're done. Oh dear.
substance and chemical compound insertion. But what what compound are we are we looking for here? that one as well. Acetone. Still need more? Bromine. Still more. Are you actually kidding me? Slot for some sort of container. What have I missed? Can I use these? Well, it's mysteriously rotating through here. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm won't be much longer anyway, Aaron. So there's not going to be much more. Especially if I can't figure out what I'm doing here. But uh, thanks for stopping by anyway, buddy. Appreciate it, as always. How many more... Well, I'm a little bit of a loss here, guys, as to what I need to do.
I'm guessing I've missing. Oh, I'm not guessing. I know I'm missing something somewhere. But um, hmm. Because it's your birthday and you're special today. Third hmm. of March is marked on the calendar. What was so special about the 3rd of March? Well, I am all out of ideas. So the only thing I can surmise is that we're not going to find everything we need in this room here. So something I missed in the vents. But let's face into the other storage room here. So yeah, I'm at a little bit of a loss, guys. So, probably as good a place as any to call it today. I guess. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. Probably a good point as any to call it today, guys. No, not 23rd, 24th. Um. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. I'll be back tomorrow continuing our playthrough of Penumbra Black Plague. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.